I finally found a workout routine that works for me and I'm so happy about it. I've been doing this for a week now, but before I get into that, my son is in the background. He's playing his iPad because we work from home. Son is sleeping, Matt's sick. Matt's sick, by the way. Oh, <laughs> I didn't even know you could see me. But ever since I had my second oh. son, my stomach would not go down as fast as it did with my first. What's this? <laughs> what? And it was kind of aggravating because I feel like everything else went back down except for my stomach. And so I showed in our last video how I looked honestly like I was three months pregnant. So I decided to look into workout classes and I was just familiar with Orange Theory. I tried it out for about a month. I did consistently go three times a week, never missed a single day. I started off by going at 5 a.m. in the morning. I was able to do it, but I feel like it kind of took a toll on my body because I was super tired throughout the day just from waking up at like four. And so then I changed that to 10 a.m. But the thing about that is that I just feel like it took up so much time in my day. It might not sound like a lot, but when you're a mom or at least when you're busy, every second counts. Driving 15, 20 minutes there, an hour class, driving 20 minutes back, showering, getting ready and stuff for the day. It just like ended up feeling like two plus hours just to get like a good workout in. The workout was great, don't get me wrong, but I just needed something that was more realistic and fitting for my lifestyle. So that's when I stumbled across Grow With Joe on YouTube and I actually saw a bunch of people on YouTube trying out her workout for seven days straight. So I was like, why don't I just try that? And I love that she's also a mom as well with a toddler, so that kind of was nice. So after we put the kids to bed, we clean up the house, I have some downtime. So I decided to use that downtime to work out. So her workouts vary from like literally 12 minutes to like over an hour. So it's kind of nice because I got to choose. I tried it for seven days, I missed one day. All right, not my proudest moment, had McDonald's tonight. It's actually almost 10 p.m. But on Wednesday nights, we can't go together right now because of the kids, but I go to Bible study, came back kind of late, was super hungry, and I'm still gonna work out though. I'm still going to work out. Yes, as you saw, I ate McDonald's, went to Bible study. It just was not feeling it that day, but that's okay. That's life that happens. But yeah, I basically did it for six days in a row. So this is my first day of doing this workout. A friend of mine told me about the Rice Krispies treat hack where you eat a Rice Krispie treat before you work out. Here's why it works. Never tried it, but I'm not mad. I love Rice Krispies, so. Mm. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you guys before, and then by the end, I'll do after later. So this is my before. It's really not that bad, but I know my body, and I know that it didn't used to look like this pre-pregnancy. So yeah, this is what it looks like. Strike a pose. <laughs> um, but yeah, here I'm just kind of showing my flubs. Jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. I think I may have been even bloated in this video. <laughs> but yeah, just wanna lose that pooch. So on day one, I did a 45 minute workout and this was equivalent to a three mile walk. So it was relatively easy, a lot of movement though. And then this happened. <laughs> I love it, oh. So as you can see here, there's a lot of repetitive movements. So it's not necessarily making you stronger per se, but imagine doing this over and over again for 30 to 40 seconds at a time for a 45 minute period. It's definitely gonna get you moving and your heart rate up and definitely gonna lose some calories from this. <sighs> Okay, so this is the water rig. I'm actually really, it's halfway, it's 23 minutes in. I'm sweating. Losing steam. So tired. She says it's the last time. So this was the finale where you just kind of like ran as fast as you could in place. So this is why I looked like that. <laughs> and... <laughs> that was so tiring. I'm itching everywhere because I'm... I'm sweating and just body's not used to that. I'm so tired, hot, thirsty. I was really starting to lose steam, but I can't believe I did it. That was day one. <laughs> All right, so it's the next day. I didn't end up working out after I had McDonald's because it was just too late. I'm not gonna lie, it's really hard to do this, but I'm going to do this because I want to show that it works. <sighs> Let's do this. So on day two, I actually did the same exact 45 minute workout again. On day three, I did a 20 minute workout. On day four, I did a 12 minute workout. And yes, I'm wearing the clothes I wore earlier that day. On day five, I did the 12 minute workout again. As you can see, I looked very sluggish. I was super tired, but I wasn't gonna make an excuse this time. I still did the workout. I'm so tired. So you saw some of the days I chose 12 minute workouts and some of the days I chose a 45 minute workout. So it's just dependent on how I'm feeling that day. And it makes me feel good that I'm still getting a workout in and also it's important to keep in mind that you do have to eat well 
so as I've been doing these workouts, we haven't been eating the best. I mean, I mean you see <laughs> I got McDonald's in the middle of the week. So we're not like trying to be like super, super healthy. I'm honestly trying to go for like what's quick and convenient, but like not unhealthy. So I ended up going to one of my favorite grocery stores ever, which is Aldi. And yes, we eat a lot of bread. <laughs> but in general, I do try to go a little bit healthy, but it's just hard. Like that's something I'm still working on. So this is one of the meals that I made that week. Today, I'm making these turkey cranberry wraps. So I use cream cheese, spread that all over the tortilla, got your dried cranberries, sprinkle that on top, turkey deli meat, and some spinach, and then I added some barbecue kettle chips. So this is what me and Matt are gonna have today for lunch. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Did you eat some cream? Oh yeah, so pretty. So moving along to day six, I realized that she had way more different styles, specifically this dance playlist. And I was like, oh yes, I'm getting in my zone. So <laughs> my legs look super funny and weird right there. So can you guess which song I just freestyle danced to? <laughs> I was getting into it. And day seven. So this was the last day. I decided to do a 30 minute workout. And here's a different angle of what I was looking at the whole week. But yeah, overall, I really, really enjoyed it. And here's a clip that I wanted to show of all of my flubs jiggling around. <laughs> Tomorrow morning, I'm gonna wear the same thing I did when we started and do a before and after. So now the seven days are complete. So here's my reveal. I'm actually kind of shocked because I do think I see a difference, especially when I'm at the side. But I want to say disclaimer, I did film this the next day in the morning. And for me, my body, I always look way smaller in the morning. So that might be why. But I still think I do see a difference. What do you guys think? Yeah, I don't know that it like worked in seven days, but overall I really do love Grow With Joe's workout routine. For me as a work from home mom with two kids, a toddler and a baby, I think personally it is the best workout routine for me, for my lifestyle, for my personality. It just works and it's something that I'm definitely going to keep doing beyond this video. But I just wanted to show you guys something that might be a good fit for your lifestyle as well because it really works for me and I'm really, really happy. And it obviously doesn't cost any money, which is like the best part. It's fine, you could do it at your own pace. You can do it at home, like when I put the kids down, it already feels like a habit to me because I've done it consistently for almost a week. So I really like it and I hope you guys are inspired and encouraged to try it as well. Let me know if you saw any differences in my body before and after and what you think of the workout. If you're interested in seeing more of our food journey too, please let me know. I don't really enjoy cooking, but like, you, you gotta do it, you know what I mean? You have to think about food. So that's that's another struggle point for us, but it is really important to be on top of your health as well while you're working out. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Bye.